uh, this is Tiffany's, uh, she's also an entrepreneur. There's nothing wrong being an entrepreneur, okay? So as you can see, she had her more millions mastermind payment plan. You pay three times, okay? 3,415. Three days. That's how much it will cost you, okay, in 2023. Then she had another one, more millions, Buster Man, full payment. $10,000, guys. For how long? For three days. Three days is 72 hours. So all these are online courses that are taking place, charging $10,000. Guys, I'm sorry. That is way, way, way too much. Not for somebody, like, you know, you, you, you can do business. You can uh, uh, make profit. There's nothing wrong with that. But this, I'm sorry, to me, I just like, no, 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 no. And then I suspect she might have received maybe some backlash. The same course that she had in 2023, where she was costing uh, 10,000, 3,000, she has the same course now, and take a look at how much she's charging this time around. This is, you know, it's going to end uh, up until August 2024, okay, if you register. So, so for me, I'm like, okay, so why, uh, and then she has another one, Elebird Special. This one is going to be a four-week one online. That's almost uh, $1,000, okay, uh, and this is going to be, uh, to be announced. All that is non-refundable, which is okay. So... In 2023, you were charging people $10,000 for 72 hours. But in 2024, the same course, you're doing it for four weeks and your uh, people are paying $1,000. Right now, inflation has gone up. The prices shouldn't be going down. They should be, if anything, they should be going up. And this is a lady who calls herself a prophetess. Remember, Yes, she is an entrepreneur, but it, she, she doesn't stop being a prophetess. You see what I'm saying? Because if, if you're a pastor, right, is he a pastor on Monday? Is he a pastor on Tuesday? Is he a pastor on Wednesday? That's his, that's his vocation. That's his calling. He might not be preaching on Monday, but he, he, he doesn't stop being a pastor. Just as us, we're Christians. We don't stop being Christian because we're at work. It's a lifestyle. So if you're calling yourself that you're a prophetess and you do your business, and the way you're handling your business is very like, oh, I don't know. Come on, guys. Okay. There's nothing wrong with doing business. I'm not against her doing business. But you can see, like, what she charged in, in 2023 and what she's charging now. I think what she's charging now, I think that's fair. Okay. It's a good price and everything. But what she was charging in 2023, $10,000 online course for three days. Tiffany Montgomery, profitess. Okay, another case, okay, showcasing that Tiffany says that she is a prophetess, but she's operating in contradiction with the scriptures. So here is uh, another clip of her. Here we go. Because let me just give you a 30 second breakdown of why we're getting ready to do it. When you go to the gym and you go and work out with a whole bunch of people, does the workout edify the people that you're with? No. It's framed. Come on, whatever that thing is, I want you to put that in there for the word world. Whatever that it is, it's framed. Or in other words, it's like a house that's being built. You cannot live in this thing without it being framed first. And it's not framed by cute quotes. It's not framed by memes on social media. It's not framed by your favorite Christian influencer that you're saying their affirmations behind them. It can only be framed by the word of God. So what will you do? I'm giving you the keys. You take the word of God over your situation. The word frame means to restore. The word frame means to repair something that was broken. The word frame means to perfectly join together. The word frame means to uh, make one what he ought to be. So through faith we understand that that man you haven't met yet that you want to be your husband is made what he ought to be by you speaking the word of God. Through faith we understand that the woman you haven't met yet is God is going to perfectly join you two together by the word of God. Through faith, we understand that whatever fell apart, God is going to restore it back for you through the word of God. See how we apply that. So tonight, I just need you to be bold enough to believe 
that your promise that God gave you is permanent. Tonight, I just need you to be bold enough to believe that the promise God gave you is permanent. Tonight, I need you to be bold enough to believe that the deliverance God gave you is permanent. Tonight, I need you to be bold enough to believe that the victory God gave you is permanent. Tonight, I need you to be bold enough to believe that the healing God gave you is permanent. I don't care if that thing popping back up. I don't care if it's bothering you again. I don't care if you thought you was healed last week, but it's saying something. You speak to that thing and you said the devil is a liar. God said my miracle is permanent. Leave now. Just need you to be bold enough to believe that that marriage he promised you is permanent. I need you to be bold enough to believe that that prodigal son or prodigal daughter is permanent. They are coming home. They don't have a choice because they don't belong to you. They belong to God. And as long as you are with God, he has custody over them. They're coming home. So what we're going to do is we're going to pray just for a little bit in a Holy Ghost. Now, I know, I know, I know. Don't send me an email about how we're not supposed to pray in tongues in public. Because let me just give you a 30 second breakdown of why we're getting ready to do it. When you go to the gym and you go and work out with a whole bunch of people, does the workout edify the people that you're with? Okay, so you just heard what she said right there, right? She's getting ready that they're going to uh, pray in the Holy Ghost. And she says people should not send her emails because she knows she's not supposed to pray in tongues in public. But she's getting ready to do it anyway. Because the scripture says, again, if somebody is speaking in tongues, there's got to be somebody to interpret, Right? Otherwise, you don't have to do it because other people are not going to be edified by it. So instead of her, as a prophetess, calling somebody out within the, uh, the congregation to come in and interpret, and interpret the, the praying in the Holy Ghost in tongues, she says, like, you know what, we're going to get ready and do it anyway. I know. So if the scripture tells you not to do this, why are you doing something else? And you're even acknowledging it with your own mouth. As a prophet, as a prophetess, you're saying that you know that's what the scripture doesn't say. But you're getting ready to uh, do override the scripture. Help me out here. But uh, let's just listen a little bit more. No, it just helps you out, right? But there's a reason maybe you're motivated to go to the gym instead of working out at home because half of us find out that if we work out by ourselves, we're gonna do five push-ups instead of 20. We find out that we're gonna do two and a half sit-ups instead of 10. We're going to run around for 12 minutes instead of 30. But when you're working out with other people, statistics show that you're actually more motivated to get the workout done than you are if you did it by yourself. Now, some people have more discipline than others, so some people can finish their workout at home. But for those that don't have a lot of discipline or those that like to be in community, like to, like to work out together. Well, praying in the Holy Ghost is a workout. It's what strengthens your spirit man. You want a strong spirit man? You want a six pack in the realm of the spirit? Pray in the Holy Ghost. You want some biceps, some triceps? You want to be double cheeked up in the realm of the spirit? Pray in the Holy Ghost. You want endurance. You don't want to be winded. You pray in the Holy Ghost. You feel a little... All right, guys. There you have it. That's uh, Tiffany Montgomery, okay? And remember, you know, other people can encourage you. You can pray with other people, okay? We are to encourage the weak. We are to encourage the faint-hearted, right? But when it comes, when it's all said and done, you are going to be standing alone on your two feet before your maker and giving an account for everything that you have done. Okay? Whether you are going to hell or you're going to heaven, everybody is going to give an account. And all your works are going to be tested through fire. And if you've done things according to the flesh, they're all going to be burnt up. If it, but your soul is going to be saved. So you're going to make it over there empty-handed. <laughs> Okay, because we are supposed to, you know, store up our treasure in heaven, right? Bring all those things before Christ. But this is what you get with Tiffany uh, Montgomery. Okay. <laughs>